A family and a local high school community in mourning this evening over the loss of a football standout. 17 year old Zyrus Oliver had been on life support since collapsing hours after practice last week. 11 Alive's Devin Feely is in Douglas County with more on this story. Devin, do officials have uh, any idea at this point? Are they any closer to the cause of his death? Not officially at this point, Brenda. The GBI is going to perform an autopsy that will hopefully provide some clues and perhaps even some definitive answers about how and why this young man died. Now, his family thinks they know what may have contributed to his death. But the one thing that we learned for sure today after talking with his principal, teammates, and friends was that this was a young man who was as well-liked as he was well-respected. Teammates say 17-year-old Zyrese Oliver was experiencing muscle spasms and cramps after football practice last Tuesday say they never imagined the condition could prove life-threatening. He was cramping up real bad. He was having like uh, cramps in his stomach and in his legs. That, that's all that we could tell at that point, though. A starting guard on the football team, Oliver collapsed at home several hours after his final practice. His family removed him from life support early Monday after several days in the hospital. They believe the team may have died from a potentially deadly condition known as overhydration after reportedly drinking four gallons of water and Gatorade during and after practice. The GBI is performing an autopsy, which will determine the official cause of death. He left a positive impact on everybody's life that he touched, his teachers, his classmates, his football coaches, his track coaches. Uh, he's just an all-around good young man. The school system brought in grief counselors for all of his classmates, who remembered him as bright, outgoing, and athletic, and gone much too soon. I would just say he's an uplifted person, like inspirational. Like, instead of looking at everything in a bad way, he looked at everything in a good way. He was always happy. He always had a lot of energy. He was never sad or mad or anything like that. He was just always in a good mood. And he was, he was goofy. He always liked to joke around. Now, Oliver's family moved to Georgia about two years ago from New Jersey. They have started a GoFundMe page in hopes of bringing his body for burial back home to New Jersey. In Douglas County, Devin Feely, 11 Alive. News. All right, Devin, thanks very much.